We're going to go ahead and install the one social theme from Buddy Boss. So at this point, I'm assuming you've already gone ahead and purchased one social. And if you've done that, you would have been given two files to download. One is one social.zip and the other is one social child.zip, which is the child theme. So let's go ahead and go into our WordPress dashboard and make sure you have BuddyPress enabled. The theme will run without BuddyPress, but it's it's designed as a BuddyPress theme, so most people are going to want to have uh, BuddyPress active. And then you're going to go to Appearance Themes, click Add New, and then click Upload Theme. And we're going to choose one social.zip. Install now. So right now we're installing the main theme. And then let's go back to Appearance Themes, click Add New again, Upload Theme. And now we're going to install the child theme. Let's go ahead and activate that. And so now you can see we have the child theme activated and we'll go to the front end and we can see it's working. So the reason we're using a child theme is because we don't want to be making edits into the parent theme because we frequently release updates to the parent theme that have bug fixes or feature requests. And when you go ahead and update your parent theme, any custom edits you've made in a theme will immediately disappear. So by using the child theme, you can make your edits CSS edits, adding functions, etc., in the child theme, and then they're safe so that when you do an update, the child theme, the edits don't get deleted and they're safe in your child theme. Out of the box, nothing's, nothing's different. Running the child theme is the same exact experience as the parent theme, and then over time as you make edits in here, you, you are able to customize things. So you might as well just run the child theme from the beginning so that you're doing things the right way.